How's it going? If you're trying to export your stems or multi-track files from Pro Tools, it's super easy. And this is something you're going to have to do if anybody's mixing your song or you're changing DAWs or whatever. This is what you would do. So let's do it. So make sure everything is the way you want it. In other words, unmuted, ready to play, the same way it would be in your session before you do this. Don't mute stuff or do anything like that because it will remember that also when it goes to print. So we're going to highlight everything in sight. We're going to come up here to track, and then we're going to go to commit. Once we hit commit, it brings up the commit tracks menu. I like to use edit selection because that will make sure that it makes it all one. Whereas if you do the other way, it sometimes doesn't consolidate if you hit selected track is what I've noticed. So you go consolidate clips, which makes all this, you see all these regions how it's like a one file and then it says a different name here 177 see that every time you select a region it creates a new file this is a nightmare if you want to export this like this you may have all these little pieces that nobody's going to know what to do with so in order to make it easy plain and simple you're going to select everything and consolidate consolidates your friend when you're trying to send stuff to other people because it makes it very easy to tell when things are not in position so you select everything outside the last piece of audio and highlight it all. And then once you consolidate, you'll see a block. So if this is slid to the right a little, you'll know it's supposed to be in the block. It's supposed to start at the same place and end at the same place. It makes so much sense. Now, leave any questions you may have in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Also, so here we go. We're going to put consolidate clips, volume and mute, pan. All this stuff is going to be on the tracks. So every piece of automation you put, you could put it all there, including the inserts. Just keep in mind, if you have this hide, make and active, your plugins will be removed as soon as this is done. All right. And also keep in mind, if anything's muted, there's not going to be any audio because this actually has to run it through and do its processing, but it's going through the plugins in order to do that. So if you have the tracks muted, it's not going to be able to do it. So keep everything live. Select it all, get this the way you want it. I, right now I have everything in sight because I want everything printed. And this is my effects versions. We're also going to do a non-effects immediately after just to show you how to do both. We have a block. Now this is going to make it so easy to line up because look, everything lines up. We don't got to do nothing. You see? It's perfect. So when you import this anywhere, it's going to look like this. And this applies for 30 tracks. It applies for one, two. It doesn't matter. Everything in the session, if it's the same, in terms of you highlight it all and then you consolidate, it'll be easy for somebody to import it. You never have to worry about stuff being out of place. Okay, so this is critical. So this is how it would be with effects. Then we highlight everything in sight. We go to the clips menu, which is at the top right of the screen. I'm just sliding it so you can see it. This down arrow. Then you go to export clips as files. It's also shift Apple K on a Mac. Then the export selected menu will come up. I like always the same is going to be WAV file because we don't want AIFF and we don't want MV3. Not when it comes to multi-tracks or stems. WAV interleaved because that'll put make any stereo files stereo and any mono files. They may be mono. You'll see it'll be a stereo file potentially, but if it's like pan left, it'll only be on the left side. That's easily dealt with later. You don't have to worry about that. But at least this way, if there was a stereo effect left and right, it will be printed the way it should be to the track. So keep it as interleaved, wave interleave 24 bit, because I didn't, this session is not in 32 bit float. I've talked about this before, but if you work in 32 bit float, then export at 32 bit float. But there's no benefit to upscaling because it doesn't work like that. So you can't get a benefit by doing the whole project in 24 bit. And then at the end, exporting a 32-bit flow. That's not how it works. So don't do that. Just export where you're working in. That's the move. Wave, interleave, 24-bit, 48. And then I'm going to put it in the stems folder, OK? Now, it's like I said, it's 48 because I'm working in 48. If I needed 44.1, the beauty of the thing about Pro Tools is you could make it anything right here. It'll, you could export it at 44.1. You know, really, it'll convert, do all conversion all here. The batch conversion is killer. So wave interleave 24 bit 48 hit export. Boom. Now that put all the committed effects on the tracks and all these tracks into a folder called stems. Now, 
If you wanted to do this with, now if you notice, this is what I was saying before, um, the effects have been removed because they're already here. So if you had the plugins here too, you'd get twice as many of every effect. That's why they're gone. So I do like doing it this way when you print it like this. You just have to know they're hidden and made inactive. You can still get to them. You just have to go up here to tracks. And then you see how it says hide all tracks, hide selected, show. So you basically go here and show all tracks and you find those again. Okay. So not a problem. They're there still. They're not deleted. That's the critical thing to know. So if you wanted to, I'm going to hit undo just to undo this. Now, if you wanted to take this and you want to export it, but without any plugins on it, just the raw data, because maybe you don't know what you're doing and you want somebody else to deal with the rest of making it sound good and you don't want to have messed up anything accidentally, I'm with you. So you highlight everything, you come up here and edit is the move and you go to edit consolidate. It's now this is that part, this top part that said consolidate clip. On the other thing, when you go to commit, is the same thing as this, except this is without all those other options. Consolidate. Everything becomes a block, the same length. Now it's piece of cake to export. We go to our clips menu again. We go to export clips as files, which is shift apple K. And then we do same thing as before. Wave it only 2448. Drop it in the stems folder. But again, I may choose a folder that makes sense. So like the other one may I put here, like, and then another folder I'll create that says no effects and put that there. That's the idea. Just get it all set where it makes sense organ organization wise, and then you'll know where everything is. Look at how quick that works. You could do this with a whole session. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I hope this helps. Tons more videos to come. My name's Evan Jaffe. This is Custom Cut Studios. Talk to you soon.